This is a super matte loose banana powder. You can set your makeup, you can bake with it. You know about baking? Bake. Yeah, you can bake with it. So while you bake, I'm gonna go select your perfect shade that's gonna work perfectly for you. This is powder that's called baking. Put it on the top and put it on the top. Hi, Karen. Marhaba, Nadine. Welcome to the Artist Space Journey. Hi, guys. My name is Karen Gonzalez. I'm a makeup artist from Los Angeles, and I'm so excited to be here with Nadine today. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so, what are we going to do today? We're going to be showing you guys how to achieve the beautiful stripping technique, which is all about bringing out your features, having the perfect lighting on your skin, and making you glow like no other. So, before I get started on your skin, I'm going to go ahead and prep it with a little bit of a booster, some primer, some foundation to just even out your skin. It's just going to really help with the way the strobing and makeup looks. How many products are you going to use? We're going to do a lot. <laughs> So I'm going to be grabbing some Skin Booster to get your skin looking radiant. Some mattifying primer, because this is a very important step, especially with the heat out here. You want your skin <laughs> to stay in place. We need some foundation, concealer to highlight, and then, of course, setting spray. This is a very important step as well to just hold all the makeup in together. And then this one, I'm going to show her a brand new trick to get her skin glowing. So I'm gonna go in first with the Ultra HD Skin Booster. I don't know if you've ever used it. This is such an amazing product. I use it every day. Do you really? Yeah. It's so good. But like two pumps. This is a serum that's gonna get your skin glowing, radiance. I put half of the bottle. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> and I love doing this with a foundation brush. Did you know this pushes it in like a finger? It's supposed to mimic the finger, so it's really just going to push it into the skin. If you continue like this, I will fall asleep. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I need you awake. <laughs> so the next step is one you never want to skip ever, ever, <laughs> ever, ever. This is the step one uh, mattifying uh, primer. And this is one of the best products, I think, that Makeup Forever has out there to just make your makeup last all day, stay on. And then you have oily skin, right? Yeah, I skip this step always. No, nope, <laughs> sure. do not do that. If you, want, if you want your skin, that glow, you need this. So this is one that I want you to take home when you get out of here. <laughs> you can take mine and have it. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. Like, I'm going to show you how to use it. Show me. I put about that much on. It's a pretty good amount, and I think that just like allows me to double up my primer to make sure it really lasts all day long. Okay. So what I'm going to go again back in with this foundation brush. So you're really just pushing it into the skin like you're doing it with your hand. Tap tap, Karen. Tap tap. Tap tap. So I'm going to tap tap. <laughs> tap tap. <laughs> tap tap. Right in your T-zone area. And right in this area here. Always around this area. Your foundation is going to go on a better surface. It's mm -hmm. going to look more smoother throughout the day. So you do not want to ever skip the foundation. And this is my favorite one from Make It Forever. This is the Ultra HD foundation. This gives you the perfect skin. I use it a lot in the videos because it starts to be the first day and even when I have a video in it, this is a lot of fun to do a correction from later because it doesn't help. So it's perfect. I agree with For everything drama. she said. <laughs> I agree with it. I'm there. I'm gonna be taking in a foundation brush and then this makeup sponge. You can be applying this pretty much all over her skin. And I'm stopping right about there. And I'm now gonna take in the makeup sponge and I'm gonna press this into the skin. And I love using makeup sponges because I feel like it looks more flawless, more airbrushed, and it evens out the foundation. <laughs> تحط أول شيء بريشة بعدين تستعمل السبونج لأنه بتخلي الفينش يكون ناتشرال أكتر ومتمزج مع بعضه. You want to make sure you get the neck area. هم اللي ما تنسوا أبداً إنكم تحطوا فونديشن كمان على هيدا المنطقة اللي هي الرقبة لتما يبين الوجه فارق عن الجسم مثل كأنه وجه حدا تاني من الجيران. We're gonna be going in with a cream highlight. And this is my one of my favorite concealers. It is the Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. We're going in with a, a flat brush. We're gonna start up with underneath of the eyes. And we're gonna pat this all underneath in back and forth patty motions with the beauty sponge and taking this up into the nose area and then back out. 
Right here is an area where a lot of us forget sometimes that it needs a little bit of brightening and correcting because we do get darker around this side. So I recommend just going around the lip, just kind of right there, and then a little bit above. And then I like to do around the nose as well. And then the chin. <laughs> and then for this to blend it out, I like using a blending brush. Believe it or not, the blending brush is so perfect to blend out any concealer. Just so natural, like a very airbrush finish. Now the next one I'm going up with is the Y31, which is going to now brighten your features. So for this, we're taking in that same flat brush and we're gonna define everything out with that. So now I'm gonna take in that small brush and I'm just going to blend out those areas. Starting with the chin, going into the forehead. Focus is it where it needs to be. And then we're gonna go right underneath the eyes as well. This is a super matte, loose banana powder. You can set your makeup, you can bake with it. You know about baking? Bake. Yes, <laughs> you can bake with it. What I like to do is dump a little bit onto the lid. And you see there's a pretty good amount on there, but the color looks like a banana shade, mm. which neutralizes the makeup. So, so I'm gonna take in with this brush right here. Pick a little bit on the brush and tap off the excess amount. You always wanna make sure you tap it off. And from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and press it into the areas we highlighted. So starting again at the T-zone. And we're gonna let it set. We're gonna let it bake, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and just push this onto the skin. Add the powder. تعطي جلو بنفس الوقت بتشيل كل شيء ملمع. So instead of going in with like a super heavy contour, mm -hmm. you can sharpen up right underneath <coughs> this area. So Just by it, using the powder. Oh yeah, start at the lip right here and then you want to go ahead and press back. Look at your cheekbones there, where mm. you look more prominent. The nose looks more defined. Everything's brightened up where it needs to be, which is great. So again, that's going to really come in hand when we do the strobing technique. So while you bake, I'm gonna go select your perfect shade that's gonna work perfectly for you. There are 32 colors, but I have like the perfect ones in mind. You're not gonna use 32 colors. Oh, we can if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the perfect palette for you, for your skin tone, for your skin type, and exactly what we're going for today. Okay. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go grab your stuff, and then sure. I will be come. I'll be right back. Well, Kate, I'm telling you, no, this powder is also for baking. So I told her, no, hey, I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to know anything about it, but I'm just happy to tell her that I'm not going to know anything. Now I know what the issue is. عم تطبخني بهالوقت هي راح تتنقل الالوان سو so, هيدي الباودر اللي بسموها بيكنج بتحطيها على وجهك وبتنطري تنطبخ لوحدها The first one I'm going to grab is this shimmery highlight which is what we're going to use to strobe your skin with and then the second one is going to be this beautiful contour shade which is going to really just enhance your features mm -hmm. not too much but just enough and the last one's gonna be this shade of uh, blush that's gonna just brighten your cheeks up and give you just enough color. So now that we select those colors, it's time to dust off your baking. I'm baked? Yep, you're baked. Okay. <laughs> I'm using the same brush because it's really just gonna push it in but not lifting up too much of the product. So now that we have customized and picked your colors, I'm gonna show you how to customize it into your palette. So Make It Forever has this trio, meaning tres. Tres. Tres, tres, yes. So inside you get the mirror, and then there's magnets in here which allow you to put your colors inside. So the first color I'm going to insert is going to be your highlight, which is this beautiful shade. And I'm gonna put this one in first so you know which order to go in. The second one is gonna be the color you sculpt with, which is gonna be perfect if you wanna contour your nose, mm -hmm. sculpt your cheeks. So that one's gonna go right in the middle. And the last one's gonna be this blush right here which is going to allow you to brighten up your cheeks, really just bring out the color to your face. But I feel like it's such a perfect I palette. Love the, color. the first shade is going to be your Highlight 106. Your Sculpt is going to be your 114. And your blush is going to be your 304. Exactly. And we're going to be using the Mist and Fix Setting Spray. This is such a good spray to put on before you do anything with powders again. So we're gonna go in with that first highlighting color, which is the beautiful champagne color. So for this, I'm gonna go in with this fan brush right here, and this is gonna be the perfect brush to use for this technique. You wanna put it where the light hits. So anytime you stand in front of a light, whatever the light hits is what you're gonna to wanna to strobe, meaning where you're gonna to wanna to highlight. We're gonna go right, starting from the forehead down to the cheekbones in this little C motion. And work my way lightly down into your cheekbones. 
you want to go and just add a little bit to your brow bone. Mm. And then again, just having a little bit to the brow bone. I know people don't like to look oily in the T-zone area, but in the forehead, it works perfectly if you're doing the strobing effect because yes. it looks very natural. So go ahead, you can go ahead and just kind of lightly dust it across. So another tip I like to do is dip the brush back into the highlight. And then with the Mist and Fix spray, you're gonna wanna do two sprays, catch it so it's not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and just go directly over that area. And this is gonna give it more of a wet effect. Nice. And you can see when the light hits, it just hits a very natural look. And then again, just kind of work it all over. So now I'm gonna go in with the small blending brush. This is gonna be a brush you're gonna use a few more times for contouring on the nose. I'm gonna dip this into the product kind of rotate my brush all around. Put some setting spray on there. I'm gonna start on the inner part of your eye. And you can see a very big difference in between both eyes. This one just looks a lot more bright, a lot more awake. Starting again right at the center of the eye and just kind of working in that circular back and forth motion. The nose area, like the bridge. Also the tip of the nose. <laughs> a little bit down. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this into the bridge of her lip and then now onto the chin. So now that we have the stroping arm, we're gonna go one more time in with that setting spray. Spray from a distance. <laughs> so I'm gonna be taking in this round brush and I'm gonna go in with the middle shade right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip my brush into this. I'm gonna go ahead and just go in circular motion. So we're gonna start this around the forehead and then now your jawline and then just going in a back and forth circular motion. You have beautiful cheekbones, like you really don't even need this, but I know this is gonna just lift everything up. So if you can't find your cheekbone, a great way to find it is applying your brush right there and then you can kind of feel them out. Go right above the ear and you will find your cheekbones. So I'm gonna start from the back, going in that circular motion and then working my way to the front. And as you can see, it just really helped sculpt it out those cheekbones, brought them out. I'm gonna go ahead and start again from the back work my way to the front. So going in with this brush, we're just gonna pick up a pretty good amount, dust the excess off. So pinching it together just allowed you to really sculpt it. Working my way up. Starting in the middle, working my way up to the bridge. Grab that sponge and then just blend everything together. So I'm now taking in this small brush and we're gonna go ahead and contour a little bit of the lip. So go ahead and go right underneath the lip. Um, this is a great way to just make them look fuller. So for the top lip, above, right in this area. And then underneath, you're gonna wanna go underneath the lip line. And then now we're gonna be applying some blush. This is gonna just go on the apples of your cheeks and it really just helps to brighten up the look. The blush is sitting just right on the apples. We're gonna go in with the liner and we're gonna just define your lips, starting from the outer part with a smile for me. And for the lip color, we're gonna be using that beautiful shade 103. We're starting at the middle of her lip. So I like to smooth the color all over. And then a tip that she likes to do is actually pat it in with her finger, which I think is a nice mm, personal touch yes. and it looks more natural that way. Oh my God. To be honest, Karen, I look like a baby. You do? No, really, it's <laughs> so beautiful. It's so much glam, it's um, it's healthy, it's fresh. The the colors are amazing. Okay. And it still looks, it still love looks it. natural. Even I look though. like a Victoria's Secret model. Ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so we really want to even this out on the body as well. We can't just glow here and be dry everywhere else. Oh, we so. can use it also on yeah. the body. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you a way to do it. So what I like to do is use the Mist and Fix spray and I like to just spray the skin. Again, because we want the particles to pick up Ooh. on there. So I love using this brush, this is the 414. We're gonna dip it back into the 106, going in that circular motion. So I like to also dust this across at the collarbone area. You never wanna skip right here. Again, starting in the center and lightly dusting it across. This is the Pro Light Fusion in the shade 02. Just look at this. So I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is the 154, it's a stippling brush. 
It's nice as old highlight so on nice. the face. Yeah. So. It matches. Everything just yeah. looks so good. No, wow, really you see the thinking. blend of the champagne yes. and the gold mix, it looks beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, and that concludes how to achieve the strobing technique. Again, it's a very- I'm sorry, I can't stop looking at the mirror. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> and yeah, and that's, that's the whole point of the strobing. You're supposed to look like you're just glowing naturally and the whole technique is so easy to do. It works for anyone and it's a very just new technique you can incorporate in your everyday makeup. <laughs> We're all done, and you're ready Thank to go you. strobe outside. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> هلا صرت اعرف عن السروبيك تكنيك اذا بدكم تعرفوا اكثر انطرونا بالبارت 2 هاي مرحبا we're back part 2 <laughs> i want to compete with you really yes 1 2 3 i already have my stuff so go ahead and go don't, don't start <laughs> i'm starting no i'm going to spray my face first Just get it nice and hydrated yes girl you did <laughs>